Ryan, the Flash. Ryan the Flash going against Cool Hand Luke. Starting off 2021. Pretty good fight. But both of these guys are almost a mirror of each other. But Cool Hand is coming from the South Park stance. Ryan like to set up his stuff from the from the right hand situation. But both of these guys are basically two counter punches. But Ryan, he loved his left hook. And Luke liked to just he liked to keep you at range. He liked to keep keep you at range and catch you coming in. I'm a um this one this is gonna be a short one. I, I'm I'm a pick I'm a pick Ryan on this one because Luke Luke is little chinny. Luke can't take a punch to save his life. And I believe Ryan can Ryan can take a punch. And I believe that Ryan, if he picked up anything from Canelo, is that style just catching everybody coming in on this level is not going to be very successful. So I believe you're going to see Ryan setting more traps by letting his hands go a little more. But it's going to be on a de- deceptive type of tip. He's going to throw some. He going to throw, I, back in the day we used to call them throwaway punches. Punches that you really don't really um, mean for no bad intentions. Just to get just to get your um, opponent to react. And once they react to those punches, you're gonna start letting the real shit go. But you're not gonna you're not gonna do it in the first or the second round. You're just gonna get the reading. So I believe Ryan is, is just gonna get a reading on Cool Hand Luke, how he gonna react to certain situations. And Brian is the younger person. I think he just scrum- both of these guys are two weaklings, but out of uh, out of the weakest Mr. Puniverse, I believe I believe Ryan is the strongest out of these two puny motherfuckers. Both of these motherfuckers, you ain't gonna find you ain't gonna find neither of these guys on Venice Beach no way getting into a um a pose down with nobody no time soon. But Ryan Garcia got the he the quicker. He he the fastest out these two, and I believe he the strongest, and I believe he got the strongest punch. So you put all and he's in and he's younger with the better chin. If you put all that into the boxing computer and see what you come up with, you come up with a winner by knockout. Because because you see how Loma you see how the problems like Lomachenko gave him when he's coming in. I believe Ryan. Ryan is a lot faster and hit harder than Lomachenko. I believe Ryan is faster than Lenares and hit harder than Lenares. But it's his setups. His setups is not, may not be more as, as crisp as Lenares, but the speed, the speed and the power will make a difference. That's the only thing Ryan... His Ryan team is smart. They would tell him to let his hands go. Let his hands go. Start stealing rounds. Start stealing rounds. Let his hands go. Start stealing rounds. Let Luke get a little desperate. And when he make a mistake, you be there just like the serpent, just like the snake. And DDT his ass. Put his ass to sleep. I believe it's gonna be a e- I, I believe this fight gonna be more e- more more easier for Ryan than what people think think it is think it's gonna be. I think he matured a lot. I think he get better sparring where he's at. I think I think his team is I think his team is a little 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 better. And I just believe that he just a better fighter. Period. I believe that um, Cool Hand Luke been in the better situations. He matured a little. He's he's matured. He's a lot older. But I believe that Ryan is going to have a better future. And I would be shocked if, if what I saw 
the problems that he had with um Lenares and um in um the motherfucker um Lomachenko. They they're much if you if you put them up if you put those guys not not statue not statue, not experience, but if Ryan let his hands go like his if his team is smart, they'll tell him they'll tell him to go after um go after him. Go after see what he got the first few rounds, then go after him. If Ryan let his hands go, this will be an easy fight. Just 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 catch just catch Lenars in between the the shots. Make him throw punches. Back him up. Make him throw punches. Sometimes you gotta get outside yourself when it comes to different um strategies against different opponents. The 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 um Lenares caught him in the caught him in the middle of a shot. Same with um Lomachenko and those guys I think they don't hit nowhere near hard as Ryan. As Ryan as Ryan catch him in the middle of a shot, I don't see him getting up. Cause he's bigger. I don't know how Ryan make one thirty five in one thirty five anyway, but he's bigger and he's stronger, and he might as well knock this guy out and start going at the Javante Davis and them now because I don't see Ryan making thirty five for much longer. I see him probably going up to one forty seven, sooner than what he think because he's a big guy. He's going to fill out. He's going to fill out very soon. This old, old, the more he age and mature. But I see this. I, I see this going to like ten rounds. Ten rounds. I should Ryan, should Ryan should catch him with something. Cause that's all he gotta do is let his hands go. Make 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 the counter puncher. Make the counter puncher throw punches. And when he feel uncomfortable, take him out of there. I see Ryan taking him out of there. Peace.